Hey, how's it going guys? Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Enlightenment desktop environment slash window manager. Some people call it a desktop, some people call it a window manager. I just call it an environment, but uh, to start off, open up the article in the description. And uh, as you can see, I'm using Ubuntu right now. And the reason I'm using Ubuntu is because most people use Ubuntu when they use Linux. And this is a good way to show you how to install it. So scroll down. And uh, we find the Ubuntu instructions here. We can open up the terminal. And the next thing we need to do is we need to copy the software repository, enter our password, and we can press enter, and it will automatically update. And if it doesn't automatically update, you can run the update command right there. And uh, then we can scroll down and we can copy the enlightenment command like so now this will install the software repository stuff and all the packages that we need as we can see all the packages are coming from the repo and we are getting a new version of enlightenment installed now after everything is installed we can close the terminal because we don't need it anymore and we can close the article here and we need to click the logout button now you log out, it's going to log you out of your current session, in which in this case I'm using the GNOME session. We can go to our login manager and we can go and we can select Enlightenment. Enter our password and Enlightenment will load up. Now you might notice that the screen looks a little bit weird. It's just the nature of virtual machines. I use a lot of them to record every little thing for you guys. Just got to wait for it to start up. All right, so once you log into Enlightenment, you're going to see a setup theme, uh, you know, a theme type thing going on here where you have to set up everything. I'm going to go through the setup quickly just to show you that it works. And uh, you can choose mobile, you can choose computer standard, and uh, choose how you want your stuff to look. And uh, you can also enable conman if you need that. And uh, we can do hardware accelerated next. And uh, then we have Enlightenment. So this is how you install the Enlightenment desktop environment. I apologize that it doesn't look as pretty as it should, but this is how you can get it going. It looks much better when you're not running it from a virtual machine. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.